Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a fun mixed media technique for you that you might want to try in your art journal, or maybe as a card background. We're going to make some cool bubbly paper today using nothing but eyeshadow, a heat gun, and some cheap Elmer's glue. Um, so let's get right to it, shall we? You'll want to put a piece of scrap paper down to protect your work surface, and I've got a half a sheet of cardstock here, and I'm going to pour on some plain Elmer's glue. This is like your regular Elmer's glue, not your washable Elmer's glue. This is just like, you know, the old standard. I keep it in a little dispenser bottle because I buy it by the gallon. And then I'm just going to kind of dab it around, kind of spread it on your paper a little bit. My brush is a little dirty. Not a big deal, though, because I'm going to be adding uh, more stuff to it. The more glue you use, the more bubbles you're going to get. All right, so now I'm going to uh, dump on some of my eyeshadow here. This is the uh, Dollar Store stuff, Dollar Store Mica eyeshadow. It's New York color brand, and you can get it at the Family Dollar or Dollar Tree, and it is a buck either place. And um, if you don't have this, uh, you can use Perlex. Perlex works great. Perlex is a lot more expensive, so, you know, use what you have. It's just mica powder. Oh, this looks kind of pretty just the way it is. And then we're going to just kind of dab it in to mix it. And, um, you know, you could use a different brush for each color if you wanted your colors to be brighter. These are just going to kind of marble together. I think I might want a little more glue in there, actually. dab a dab a dab Little dab will do ya. And let's see, I think I want some more purple, so I'm going to... Something else you can do. These come with a little brush. So if you want to just add a tiny little accent, you could dip the brush in there. This is some sticky work, I will tell you. I think I will actually rinse my brush off because I want to get a little more pure color in there. And you'll want to wash your brush immediately after doing this technique because um, this glue will ruin your brush if you leave it in there. I'm going to put a little more a little more glue on there, I think. The colors are kind of pretty, though. I just want some bigger bubbles in places, so I'm just going to add a little bit more glue. And I want to add some more pink, I think. All right. Now, you can squash the bubbles down, or you can leave them up. It's up to you. A little purple. I think that green really tends to gray things up. And you can also leave some color um, just kind of sitting on the top. And I'll show you what I mean when I use the gold. So you can just kind of flick it on there. And just let it sit on the top. And I think I might do that with some of the green since the green tends to get a little muddy. I probably have dust motes of glitter all over now. All right. So now here's where the magic happens. We're going to heat this up, and I'm going to let the camera roll as I do it because um, I want you to see how long it's going to take because sometimes um, I'll do, I'll kind of like fast forward through this or I'll pause my camera, and then people have no idea how long this is supposed to take. Now, if you look, you'll be able to see the bubbles forming. Let me zoom in a little bit, see if I can here. See that? The bubbles are forming there on the paper. Look at that. It's like magic, kind of. Now, it goes without saying that you probably ought to do this in a well-ventilated area because you are heating up glue. Glue and heat and fume, but, you know, it's white glue. It's not that fumey, but still, you know, it, PVA glue is basically a plastic, so you want to take precautions. Look at that. It's like a pizza bubble. My kids always fight over the pizza bubbles. I don't know about yours. So just keep moving it. Once one area is all bubbly, just move on to the next. Look at that. I think this looks so interesting, don't you think? So I don't know. I'll have to listen back to this video because I was doing another video earlier and I went back to edit it. Yes, I actually edited something. Isn't that crazy? And I kept hearing this crazy jiggly noise. And I was, so I'm cleaning off my table trying to figure out what the heck is making that crazy jiggly noise. So I'm hoping I found it. I think it was a punch that was, um, that was sitting on the edge of my table that was making that noise. So we'll have to see if what I'm stippling in this video, if you hear jiggly noise or not. 
is driving me bananas. And I don't have far to go before I hit bananas. <laughs> I'm already almost there. All right, see, so I just, you know, you can see this takes a couple of minutes to get this all heated up, and this is half a sheet of cardstock, so just be aware when you go to heat up your project. All right, actually smells kind of nice because these <laughs> these are, this is makeup, this is um, eyeshadow, so it kind of has a little fragrance in it, I think. So you'll want to um, remove that from your scrap paper because it's going to get glued down otherwise. And the scraps are actually kind of pretty too. And there is our example. Isn't that kind of neat? Now I mushed down the bubbles on the other piece that I showed you, so I just wanted to tip it and show you this really awesome texture. I think it would be really fun for card making or um, if you do like altered books or scrapbooking. Um, it's just such a really cool technique. So I used way more glue on this one. I got really big bubbles and I used less glue here and got more of a um, subtle effect. Well, that's it for me. My water pump's going off, so it's going to be loud down here. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, until next time, happy crafting.